This is Gene Key with SkyServe America News. Ole Miss removes its state flag from campus after insistence by both the faculty and student body. NBCNews.com reports from Ole Miss. Mississippi is the only state that incorporates the Confederate battle emblem into its official flag. Voters backed it overwhelmingly in a 2001 referendum. But the debate was rekindled in June after a white gunman killed nine people at an historic black church in Charleston, South Carolina. The alleged killer had published photos of himself online with the Confederate battle flag. The movement reached the University of Mississippi's campus in Oxford with the start of classes this fall. The student government voted to ask the university to remove the state flag. Faculty and staff leaders did the same. The interim chancellor agreed. On Monday, campus police lowered the state flag from Lyceum Circle. It will be placed in university archives. GM and the UAW come within 16 minutes of a strike before a deal was struck. USA Today.com reports. General Motors has reached a tentative agreement with the United Auto Workers Union, avoiding a strike that would have cost GM an estimated $1.2 billion in lost revenue per week. GM execs and union members still have to vote on the deal. 16 minutes before the strike authorization was to go into effect, the two sides reached a proposed deal. GM is the second Detroit automaker as the UAW negotiates with Detroit's Big Three. UAW members just voted in favor of a new four-year pact with Fiat Chrysler, but it didn't come easily. Fiat Chrysler sweetened the deal after workers rejected the first proposed contract. Consumer Reports says products are shrinking at grocery stores all across America. This story is based on the report issued by Consumer Reports. They say if you're used to getting a pint when you buy ice cream, you may have to reduce your expectations. Many are now just 14 ounces. Companies often blame the rising cost of labor and ingredients for that kind of downsizing, but Consumer Reports says that it's a way for some companies to raise prices, too, without being noticed. Consumer Reports says the problem comes down to one of perception. For years, many products came in clearly recognizable sizes, a pound of coffee, a quart of mayonnaise. Today, that's not true. So, you need to read the labels to see how much of the product you're actually getting. Consumer Reports says the best thing you can do is to read the fine print on the packaging and pay attention to unit price labels on most store shelves. Familiar products and packaging may no longer mean the same size or quantity of the product you bought last month. This is Gene Key, SkyServe America News.